Okay, there is a uh, substitute motion uh, made by uh, Councilmember Choi. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay, we have a s uh, second also. So the so substitute motion is actually also on the floor, and uh, any uh, council member can speak to this motion. Let me turn to uh, Council Member Lalloway uh, this time. I have nothing to add right now, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Thank you. Um, then let me turn to uh, Council Member Agron. Well, let me speak, uh, Mayor, to the substitute motion, which uh, I must say surprises me a little bit. Uh, at this dais, uh, Council Member Choi, uh, joined by Council Member Lalloway, uh, spoke at uh, considerable length questioning and criticizing the substance of the initiative. And as the uh, brass person for, uh, for the initiative, uh, I was pretty stunned at the time, uh, especially since uh, there were so many arguments uh, that, in my judgment, were lacking in merit, but were so forcefully articulated by two of uh, the council members at this dais. There was also uh, vigorous discussion about the initiative, about the process, but more about the substance that went on, I would say, for a couple of hours, if uh, memory serves me correctly. I would also say this, that uh, Council Member Lalloway had uh, suggested that he was going to offer uh, an alternative uh, for the Council to... Uh, put before us uh, that would no doubt be a competitive measure to the SOS initiative on the ballot. That um, alternative never materialized. And so um, we have before us pretty much a question of whether or not we're going to follow through on a process that itself is, to use a council member Choi's word, pristine, a pristine process of grassroots direct democracy that takes the form of a hundred-year-old initiative process available to cities and people in cities across the state of California, as I said, since the early 1900s. Now, I will say this, as somebody who, myself, uh, gathered over a thousand signatures and spoke to thousands of people, many of the people who signed raised significant questions, many, more than I would have thought likely, actually took the time to sit down and read the petition and then asked questions and then said that while they still had questions, they generally supported the effort, but wanted to be sure in putting their signature on the, on the line that they were simply requesting, petitioning, to see to it that this measure would be on the ballot that they would have a chance to take a further look at it, a long and hard look, and that they would cast their ballot accordingly in November. I personally assured people time and again that that was our intention. This was a signature gathering effort to qualify it for the ballot. They absolutely reserved the right to vote against it if that was their wish. And many, many people signed on that basis. I want to honor the pledge that I and that the initiative itself 
made to those people, that it was about getting it on the ballot for their further review and decision. To take the course that is suggested by this substitute motion would be to dishonor those pledges, in my case, uh, in the hundreds, but in the aggregate, perhaps in the thousands. I will not do that. I would suggest that this motion, uh, a substitute motion, be defeated. Thank you, Mayor.